I love video games. I learned how to program a game by myself because that was my dream job. And I was using Unity as my game engine. When I realized that I can use this technology to work in one of the most rigid and traditional industries. And now we are changing the automotive industry. I heard of Unity real-time tools. When was the first time? Video games. It was amazing, like, that's super powerful. Now we're pushing different industries in the non-gaming sector. The automotive industry is quite advanced in using real-time 3D. Now we can use a game engine to put the whole car together and being able to collaborate together. At Volvo Cars, we're challenging the current processes and pushing the boundaries together for the future. Yeah. I'm Timmy Guro, and I'm leading virtual experiences at Volvo Cars in Gothenburg, Sweden. The guiding principle at Volvo from the start was safety, because cars are driven by people. In 1959, Volvo invented the three-point seatbelt. Volvo decided to give the patent away because they thought its safety should be available for everyone. That's part of the Volvo car's value. We care about the society. My name is Anna Hellmark, and I'm responsible for the human-centric lab at Volvo Cars in Gothenburg, in Sweden. I have worked in the automotive industry for 19 years. It used to be a lot of Test cars, lights, opening and closing doors, safety, sustainability, design, noise and vibration, steering and ergonomics. A lot, a lot of test cars, a lot of space and a lot of money. But it has been like that in the car industry for a long time. We should be able to do this in a better way. Volvo is the most ambitious car company that is using Unity as a glue to cover the whole life cycle of production processes from early design till the consumer applications. In the design department, you start from a sketch, then you go into the clay models and you test different colors and the personality of the car. And in the same time, engineering starts to work on various parts. It's hard to communicate between engineering and design, where design wants to do some part in a way by engineering saying that that will affect aerodynamics. But with Unity, it's like a movie, and a movie is fun to watch. By using the same tool, we're able to speak the same language. So you can experiment with the complete virtual vehicle and make changes before we go into prototyping and production phase. Volvo's vision is that by 2020, nobody will die in a new Volvo car. By using real-time technology, we can expose our engineers that work with safety to different scenarios. We also use Unity for machine learning training for self-driving cars. We train the models to recognize different objects because we don't want to gamble with real people's lives when we are testing those scenarios. Unity is the bridge over the pain points. That's how I see it, to make life easier. Okay, we love our technology, but can we drive with it? We needed to simulate different scenarios to test them internally with the real car on the road. I was the first one, and I was pushing its limits. I was driving a real model, and I could switch between virtual models overlaid perfectly. Hey, can we actually test how rain will look and the wipers performance? It's like, oh yeah, I have some rain. I could add the moose in front of the car and see how it will react to those changes. And everything was super fast because we were running Unity from the back seat.
I'm really looking forward to see how those tools are going to develop in the future. For the past hundreds of years, it was all about people commuting between A and B. And we still want to keep the human in the loop so they can enjoy the ride. The future looks bright. Unit is drastically changing the automotive industry and changing the way we work. Which is a big deal.